Hey, Doug, I'm still here for Doc Sports, and today is July 22nd. It's a Thursday, and we're back with more free picks and just not hit, getting it going on free picks uh, at all right now. So just going to just keep working, keep st striving, keep pushing, keep digging, come up with something that's going to work. Uh, the, the White Sox just, boy, oh, boy, um, just didn't get it done yesterday. And the Dodgers with the wise guy pick, I mean, which also, by the way, was one of my picks yesterday, so that wasn't fun, is that uh, just didn't happen, okay? Bad luck, okay? Uh, that's all I can say, okay? Not happy about it, though, at all. So I'm going to try and change course on that and get that turned around today. Now, I do have some interesting news, though, today. To, um, today's card, there's what, I think there's only nine baseball games. So with today's card, I decided to... I. I rarely do this, okay, but I just thought that, eh, you know, today's the right day to do it. So I got a parlay going today, and the parlay, a for example, a $200 bet, okay, would pay out over $630 today, if it's correct. It's got to be correct, okay, for that to happen. I'm not saying that's not the case, but I got a $200 parlay that if, or if you bet $200, I should say, you bet $200, if you can win over six hundred and thirty dollars, okay, on it at the odds when I release the play, I should qualify that as well. So that's available today at the Doug Upstone page at Doc Sports. Okay, so that's my. I just have one play today, and that's it. So going for the in the in this case, use baseball vernacular, the rare home run play. And the other thing though too about this is that if it's not correct, okay, it reduces risk. Okay, if it happens to go one on one or something like that, just, you know, other circumstances, we're keeping the risk really low in order to do it. So that's that's the plan for today. So you can check that out, the Doug Upstone page at Doc Sports. Um, interesting, too, uh, my uh, one of my protégés here at Doc's, uh, Raphael, he found a very really interesting, I saw this on Twitter this morning, very interesting article, article about horse racing. Now, Raphael is a noted horse racing aficionado, and yours truly has um, has had a very good year at um, betting the horses uh, overall. And just found an article that's saying the horse racing is extremely popular. It's been years since it's been as popular as it's been. And it talks about the fact that, you know, last year with COVID, that was basically the only thing you could bet on for a, a large portion of the time for uh, March, April, May, and uh, get going into June. And so it kind of caught on a little bit and it's continued this year. Okay. And so the, the biggest, the bigger races uh, have, are doing fantastic. Okay. In terms of handle and stuff like that at, at the tracks and online. So it's been tremendous. So I'll have some plays this weekend. Just throwing it out there, just some information. But the the assumption or the old uh, story that horse racing is dead, well, it's not dead, okay? And the bigger tracks, uh, Del Mar just had their opening day, had their biggest opening day ever, uh, and then also in terms of handle for the entire weekend. So what does that tell you? I mean, so people are interested. So the horse racing, it's not back. It's never going to be, you know, what it used to be, okay, the, the sport of kings and all that other stuff. It's never going to be that again. But it doesn't mean it's not fun, okay, and it's not – not it's worth a look. Okay, so just keep that in mind as well. All right, let's get to today's free play, and it's a game that has interest, a lot of interest in, in baseball. Boston and the New York Yankees. Now the Yankees have won nine of their last thirteen games, and they've won four series in a row. So they're showing they have a pulse now, which is something they have not shown most of the season. Uh, with that, they have moved uh, into third place uh, with their victory yesterday over Philadelphia. So they're moving up in the standings, and but it's getting done by pitching, not hitting. Now the hitting is a little bit better. I mean for the for geez, for months they were at like 3.9 uh, runs per game, and uh, or maybe up to four occasionally. Now it's up to 4.2, so you know they're doing better. But 4.2 runs per game—that's 22nd in baseball. Okay, it's not real good, right? And especially what how the uh, the presumption of this how the Yankees team is supposed to be. But they're pitching in those 13 games; they've allowed 2.7 runs per game. So the starting pitching's been great, the relief pitching's been outstanding. So they're just getting it done overall. Now if the offense comes around. Okay, so the Yankee team could really take off, which would be interesting to see how that plays in that division. Now, in the New England area, Boston was a 
you know, we're supposed to be a 500 team basically, you know, this year. Uh, so they've been a, a pleasant surprise in, in that area of the country and across baseball. Their biggest weakness coming into the season was starting pitching. And really for the first two months of the season, the starting pitching was actually quite good. And this team was also scoring five runs per game. So they were doing a, a lot of good things. Now, June started to see some slippage in the starting pitching. And now is in July, we've seen quite a bit more. And so the Red Sox have been uh, struggling more. Starting pitching ERA is down to 19th in baseball. So this offense is going to have to continue to score some runs. Relievers are good. Okay, they're st still 10th in 10th, uh, top 10, I should say, in ERA in Major League Baseball coming out of the bullpen. But, you know, you have to wonder, is that is that going to hold up? Okay, over the next two plus months. So, but for this game, um, looking at New York, okay, one last week series uh, at home over Boston, but on the season, they're only two and seven against their chief rival. Uh, these teams in their last 16 games at Fenway Park, they are dead even split. Okay, but. What I'm going to do, I'm going to side with Boston in this one. Um, uh, Tanner Hawk, I like him. Okay, I like what he brings to the table. I'm not a big fan of Jordan Montgomery in this situation. And the Red Sox are 17-2 and two after playing three consecutive games against division foes, while the Yankees are 5-13 and 13 facing teams that average 3.5 uh, or more extra base hits per game. Let's take Boston minus the 135 over the New York Yankees today. Okay, so just a quick reminder to let you know, I got, as I said, a big parlay going today in baseball. Just one play, okay, with that, if correct, has a big payout. So see if we can nail that one down later tonight. And that's all in evening action, by the way. So check that out. Now, the uh, the wise guys play, like I said, missed it yesterday, 16 and 12 uh, otherwise, uh, or most recently. there's a, They got the afternoon game. The, the top play, because I... I contacted this particular individual and I said, hey, if you have another play. So his top play is actually the Tigers, but that's an afternoon game. So some of you, though, may or may not see when you see this video, that game may have started. His second choice is to take the Mariners on the plus one five uh, run line. So actually two plays for you today. Uh, but uh, but some of you might just end up being one if you want to take take a look at that one for your own handicapping purposes. So this is Doug Upstone for Doc Sports. I'll be back on Friday with more free play action and hopefully some really good news of having a great day with free picks along with hitting the parlay. So this is Doug Upstone for Doc Sports. Until next time, I'm out.